I have had almost no willpower to get out of bed and shoot videos and be a jolly happy person on camera the past few days because with everything going on, nothing matters. Like nothing in my life matters. There's an alarm going off. I don't know what it is. I'm sorry. Food doesn't matter. Content doesn't matter. Nothing matters. And I've tried my best to stay off of social media, but it's also hard because I'm also glued to my phone trying to see what's happening with my family. Checking on my family, seeing if they're still alive. And I'm not gonna, like, I don't wanna be like a content creator who complains, but like one of the hard things about being a content creator is like your income relying on you just like being happy and being present all the time. Whereas in real life, it's not practical to be happy and present all the time. Like I can't just go shoot a happy video of me eating pancakes and post it right now, even though like that's how I make my money. I'm not gonna do that. It's so stupid. Everything's stupid. I hope I'm making sense. I haven't been able to sleep and it's not jet lag anymore. So I just decided to be real with you for a minute. But on the other side, we're like, I'm here. I might as well peel myself out of bed and go do something. So I forced myself out of bed. And today on the schedule, I had to shoot a video of me eating soft serve ice cream in a croissant. Isn't that great? Honestly, it looks delicious. And I think I am still gonna do it because it's better than just sitting around. But trust, I'm gonna feel stupid while doing it. For the most part, I found like the bus is pretty reliable here, but sometimes they would say like bus coming in one minute and then the bus wouldn't come. And then it would be like bus coming in 10 minutes as if it came and like went without me noticing. Plop. Okay, now I'm a little confused. Like there's a notice here, but I'm not quite sure if it applies to me. Just in case, I've decided I'm walking to the next stop. Hopefully there's no notice on that one and my bus actually comes. Is that it? I mean, I do need the four. That says four, but there's no one in it. All right, looks like the four stops here and there's no alerts or anything. Wish me luck. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. It better stop. Okay, it's stopping. The place I shot this soft serve ice cream in a croissant is called British Patagonia. It's like a fancy pastry shop in an area I think that's called Angel. I'm not really good with the neighborhoods over here, but if you put British Patagonia in the, in the map, you'll find it. They have a lot of fantastic pastries, not all of them vegan, but they have decent vegan options. And the coolest thing they do, in my opinion, is the soft serve ice cream in a croissant. Let me tell you, it was delicious, but unless you have a giant sweet tooth, definitely split it with someone. I couldn't finish it myself. I got mine covered in caramel and hazelnuts and the ice cream was so creamy and the croissant was nice and flaky and they like made it, you know, crunchy so it could serve as a cone. Mmm, so freaking good. The reason why I couldn't shoot it for YouTube, you know, horizontally is because ice cream melts quickly so as soon as I grabbed it I had to shoot my little reel and then you know eat it up but I just wanted to pop in here and let you know how it went because I know you'll be curious I have fulfilled my work obligations for the day um, the place was really nice the people who worked there were very sweet the croissant ice cream was absolutely gorgeous and delicious it was so so good um, and then I figured I'm in a cute neighborhood. Why not just stroll around and as I've been walking They've been clothing stores and cool little knick-knack shops, but you know what I've been buying? Cool fruits I've found along the way We've got not two but Four passion fruits. They're not ripe yet, but I hope they'll ripen before I leave at a different place, I smelt guava so freaking strongly that I had to buy one. I literally was like, I went to the shop owner and I was like, I smell guava but I don't see it, where is it? And they, they gave me one. 
well, they charged me for it. It was one euro, which isn't that bad. And the passion fruits were 50 cents each. Then, this one was a little expensive. It was three euro 50. But, wait till you see what it is. It's the cutest little pineapple I've ever seen. Isn't it so cute? And it smells so good. So, I'm excited. As you can tell, I'm in a better mood. I guess ice cream will do that to you, huh? And not being on your phone so much. Uh, I'm about a 40 minute walk back to the apartment and it's nice today even though it's very cold. The sun is out. So I don't know if I'm gonna walk all the way back, but I'm gonna walk and enjoy the fresh air for at least a little while. This is the place that I bought the guava and the pineapple at, by the way. It was called Avo Man. And I think they grow a lot of their own stuff. Take a look. We have the cutest pumpkins, some cauliflower, really cool looking tomatoes, delicious looking strawberries, and then those are the pineapples that I grabbed. They had mangosteen, but they're expensive and tiny, so I passed. Those are the guava, and take a look. I was tempted to get a mango, because take a look at the color. I've never seen such a peachy mango before. But yeah, they're so cute. I'm not quite sure where I am, but it's very cute. There's some thrift stores and bookstores. Take a look at this sign. I've actually never seen one like this before. Don't drop gum. Look, it's apparently a bodega. <laughs> we have to check it out. Oh no, I think, oh no, it's closed. Silly Londoners. Bodegas never close. <gasps> oh look, it's a vegan restaurant. Let's go check that out. Thanks Bodega for pointing me in a different direction. Let's see what this vegan restaurant has to offer. I am kind of hungry for lunch. It's mostly burgers and salads. I think I want to get Subway. Listen, I love, I love supporting local but there's a few fast food items I just really want to try. <laughs> Check it out, they have a meatless Philly. But it has teriyaki sauce. Who does teriyaki in a Philly? I have no idea. Can I please have a six inch meatless Philly? A hearty Italian, please. Look, they even have vegan cookies. So it's just started to rain, but there's an awning right here, and I think this restaurant's closed, so we're gonna try our vegan subway right here. And you know what's weird? Look at the sun. That doesn't look like rain, but I swear it's raining. It's really weird. At first I thought someone's air conditioner was dripping. Let's get the passion fruit and shit out of my pocket first. We're gonna put that in the bag the man gave us. I gotta say, it does look really small for a Subway sandwich. Look how tiny, look how tiny. But it smells really good, and I put jalapenos in it, because why not? It has jalapenos, teriyaki sauce, peppers and onions, and cheese. Ooh, it's just gonna fly away. First vegan Subway. <laughs> that's really good. It doesn't taste like a Philly cheesesteak. But maybe that's not what it's supposed to be. But then why call it a Philly? I don't know, it just tastes like a steak sandwich. And I like it. Let's take a look up close. Ooh. That's the steak bit over there. It's pretty good. I would definitely get it again. Now let's give the cookie a try. It smells so, it smells like hot chocolate. Mm. It's a tad crumbly, but good. For fast food, I'll give the sandwich an 8 out of 10, and this gets a 7. But would get both again, totally. Good morning, loves. It is so cold outside today. It's about 40 degrees. And now I realized how blessed I was with how nice the weather was when I first got here. I tried a new coffee shop today. I'm trying a new coffee shop basically every day. Today's was black sheep coffee. This came highly recommended. Um, but it's not my favorite, still. I've had one really great latte while I've been here, and that was at Mildred's. Like, I wouldn't expect that. But that latte was amazing, and if I could have that every morning, I would. It was delicious. And I'm not saying I'm a coffee connoisseur, because I'm not. 
right? I'm just picky. Whether that pickiness is for good coffee or just like very specific coffee, the world may never know. I just love my Bustelo and I miss it and I can't wait to drink it when I get home. Today we're heading to a place called Cafe Mexicana. They invited me for brunch. I'm gonna get there a little bit early, but it's better than staying out here in the cold until my actual reservation. And hopefully they could take me. I'm wearing three sweaters. One jacket, two sweater, three sweaters. And my nose is running and my hands are freezing. And I think it's gonna be like this until I get back home. And it's probably gonna be like this at home too. It's definitely big jacket weather and I am out here with no big jacket. So here it is. Unfortunately, they open at 11, so I have to just chill here for 20 minutes. But here's the brunch menu that I've come to shoot. I guess I have time to like look it over and see what I want to get. Update, update. I uh, stood in the sun for one second and now there's a line. I didn't know this place was so popular. I've decided to do regular brunch and not boozy brunch because I'm not going to drink. So we have... Uh, I think I'm gonna do breakfast nachos, the chilaquiles, and then the huevos ra rancheros, and then the toe fish and chips tacos. Maybe we should do one drink. You know, just for a little funsies. Cafe Mexicano is probably one of my favorite places that I ate at all trip. I know it's like not authentically British or London or whatever, but like I really liked it. Breakfast nacho type things and the huevo rancheros, like those were good, but the top things, if you were to go back, would definitely be the fish and chips taco and then the barbecue taco coming from someone who's not even like usually a barbecue person those two tacos were so good and that's what i would get if i were to go back actually when i'm gonna go back and also that drink at the end i forgot the name but i'll put the name here also like really surprisingly very delicious especially for an alcoholic drink and then i was hearing reports of like everybody getting sick and stuff and i saw that they had ginger like turmeric black pepper shots on the menu and i was like you know what might as well take one so i had one and i did not get sick i don't know if it was because that shot but i'm glad i didn't get sick today has been an emotional roller coaster off camera i did cry to my mother that i would like to go home look at flights home realize they were two thousand dollars and then come to the realization that I do have to wait till Thursday to go home. <laughs> um, it's mostly just because, there's nothing wrong with London. London, honestly, great city. I'm enjoying it, would definitely come back. Um, it's just everything going on right now with my family and the Middle East and stuff. It's just very heavy and it's hard to have a good time. So I just wanted to go home. I just wanted to go home, I just wanted to be my family, I just wanted to be home. Um, but it's just not practical right now. Uh, when I called to see if I could change my flight, they quoted me $5,000. And I was like, what, why? Cause, what? And then I looked online and it was 2,000, which is not even 5,000, but also out of my budget. So we're here, we're in London. Um, then I sat and I FaceTimed a friend who also has family in the area. And we cried together for a little bit. And um, that made me feel a little better. So thank you, love you. <sighs> Another update. As you saw, I bought so many protein bars. Let me show you. Earlier on in this escapade, I tried this protein bar and I named it the best vegan protein bar I've ever had. And I will stand by that. Delicious. Now the other flavor is really good, but the place I found only had this flavor. So today, after going to Cafe Mexicana, I basically went around Club Mexicana. Club Mexicana, I think. I went around and I tried to go to like all the high end like grocery stores to try to find these because they don't have them at like Tesco and stuff. Um, and I couldn't find them. And then eventually I found them and I bought like 10 of them. But then I also saw this, which I'll do an official review later because then when I ate one earlier, I didn't feel like being on camera. Um, I thought this would be good too because like, doesn't it look good? It looks good, right? It's not that good. And now I have two more to eat, which is not the end of the world, it's fine. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be eating these two while I'm here because I'm gonna save 
all of these truck ones from when I'm back in New York and I can't get them anymore. But what I also did was at Planet Organic, which is not where I found the protein bars, I bought some little protein packs we could try together. We have this brand called New Zest, Nutrition for Life, Premium European Pea Protein. We have Smooth Vanilla and Rich Chocolate. So we're gonna try these while I'm out here. And then we got this fancier one that's like a whole pound more. That one was three pounds per like packet. And this is four pounds per packet, which is like kind of expensive. Um, but it looks fancier. This one is Chocolate Salted Caramel and Chocolate Peanut. So in the next four days, we will be trying these. But then for dinner, we're gonna do this. I'm gonna be making a little dish. It's gonna be half a packet of Ben's Original Golden. It's going to be a little of this squeak chorizo sausage. It's going to be a little leftover tofu scramble and bean mush from Club Mexicana. And it's gonna be some greens. And I think this is gonna turn out delicious. So stay tuned for the grand reveal. Okay, this is before I added the greens. We have the leftovers here. We have these chorizos right here. And I had a little nibble. It tastes like pepperoni. It's so freaking good. It tastes like slightly spicy pepperoni. And then we have the rice. All right, I added some obligatory greens for health. And I think this is gonna be delightful because it's not just like rice, meat, vegetable. There's like some, you know, seasoned restaurant food mixed in there, which is gonna be my flavor. Mm-hmm, that's a good dinner. I actually don't have plans for tomorrow because I was trying to go back home. So after I shower and stuff, I gotta do some brainstorming for what we're doing tomorrow because I can't stay inside all day. It will not be good for my mental health. Shout out to all my patrons, but especially my bodega bosses and my OG bodega babes. Jessica, Christina, Lucia, Alex Creates, Laura, Kaylin, Marielle, Alex of Planet Earth, Jenny, Gemini, Janine, Stacy, Michelle, Eduardo, Chloe, Dana, Vanessa, Nakia, Matt, Mariana, Andrew, McKenna, Shanta, Adrian, Dawn, Susan, Trudy, Clark, Howie, and Chris. You guys are the absolute best, and these videos are made possible with your support. If you want to support me non-monetarily, then just subscribe and stick around to watch another video. It shows YouTube that you like my content. I also have a TikTok and an Instagram if you want to check me out there, and merch. Always down in the description. See ya!